As we move further up the west coast to Australia and approach the Tropic of Capricorn, corals are more in evidence and start to form reefs. The coral reef is a very different ecosystem from that of the cold waters of the south. The water is filled with light and color. The intense activity we can see is not the result of a marine current carrying nutrients. The coral reef is like a gigantic self-contained organism in which energy passes from one layer to the next with just two essential ingredients, the sun and the sea. The corals are specialists in poor waters like these, provided they are clear. If we dive down just a few meters to where there is less sunlight, we can see that the variety of species quickly diminishes. Nearer the surface, the coral world flourishes in all its splendor. Over 2,000 types of animals live here with strange relationships among the different species, all of them adaptations to ensure survival in such a competitive society. This is a pair of clownfish who choose to live where others die. They confidently swim between the stinging tentacles of this anemone, knowing no harm will come to them. The tentacles are armed with poisonous cells, which would mean certain death for any other fish. The clownfish are immune because the anemone does not recognize them as foreign bodies. They are like part of the family. is full of specialists ready to eat anything edible. The trigger fish like this one can, with their tough mouths, attack any reinforced structure no matter how strong it is, and the parrotfish can even crush the corals. If you're among polyps, the best thing is to look like them, and we already have met the master of imitation. The cuttlefish also lives here just one more piece in the intricate puzzle of the reef. And, as always, they have to hide from the local marauding hungry mouths, in this case the grouper. They are members of the serenid family in virtually all the waters of the world. Their rear fins are a sure sign they can accelerate very rapidly if necessary.